Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let us take a look into introduction to React.js. Well, what is React.js? React.js is an open source JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Well, here in this definition, you can notice two key points. First is JavaScript library and second is building user interfaces. Well, React is a JavaScript library. It is not a framework. It is a JavaScript library and React, it does only one thing that is building user interfaces. So React is not concerned with other things like routing or making REST API calls. Okay. So React, it does one important thing that is building user interfaces. Okay. So you might be wondering how we can implement the routing and making a HTTP request in a React application, right? So React JS has a good support with third party libraries. So we can use third party libraries in a React application to achieve all this stuff like, like we can use react router dom library to implement the routing we can use arcgeos http library to make the rest api call or http request in a react application okay so just remember react.js is open source javascript library for building user interfaces next react.js is created and maintained by facebook next react.js is a component based architecture and this architecture promotes reusability the components are reusable building blocks that encapsulates the logic and UI elements of the application. They allow developers to break down the complex UI into smaller manageable parts. Well, in React.js, the components are building blocks and reusable. And these components allow developers to break down a complex user interface into smaller manageable parts. For example, consider we have user interface over here and the component based architecture basically allows the developers to break down the user interface into smaller manageable parts. For example, we can break this user interface into small manageable parts called components. For example, we can have a header component, we can have a footer component, we can have a side navbar, we can have a main content component, we can have a ads component. So React provides a component based architecture and this architecture allows the developers to break down the user interface into smaller and manageable parts and these parts are called components okay and again component based architecture promotes the reusability for example we can reuse the existing component as many times as we want for example here we have a side navbar component and we can reuse this side navbar component as a left side navbar component or right side navbar component so one more example is ads component so we can use this ads component to display multiple ads next let us take a look into react virtual dom well, React.js uses virtual DOM as an abstraction of the real DOM to optimize and efficiently update the user interface. So if you look at the diagram over here, so before we deep dive into the React virtual DOM, first let us understand what is real DOM. Well, DOM stands for Document Object Model. And this DOM basically represents a tree structure of your UI application. For example, whenever you load your application in a browser, then browser will create a DOM for your UI application. For example, let us say your UI has a HTML code div within a div, S3 element, and then form and then spam within a spam, you display the time. Okay, so DOM basically represents a tree structure of your HTML. Now we understood what is DOM and how this DOM looks in a browser. Next, let us understand what is React Virtual DOM. Well, React creates a virtual copy of the real DOM and it is called a virtual DOM. Okay. So in order to improve the performance of the application, React creates a virtual DOM to, you know, update only the necessary part of the DOM. All right. Now let us understand how the React virtual DOM works. Well, initially React will create the virtual DOM. It is the virtual copy of the real DOM, the real DOM, which is present in a browser. Okay. Next, let us say if we change something in the React application, for example, let us say we change the time, then what React will do, it will create one more virtual DOM and this is what the updated virtual DOM. Okay. Next, React will compare both virtual DOMs. Okay. So React will basically compare initial virtual DOM and updated virtual DOM and it will identify the changes. If you look at the next diagram, React compares the initial virtual DOM and updated virtual DOM and it will identify the node that gets changed. For example, in this case, the time node changed. Okay. So basically in a DOM, each element represents a node. 
all right and reacts compares both the virtual you know doms and it will identify the node that gets you know changed so once react identified the node that gets changed next react will update that change in a actual dom and if you look at here only the node whose data changes get repainted in the actual dom all right so this is how the react virtual dom works so basically react don't change the actual dom in the browser it maintains the virtual copy of the actual dom and it will identify only the necessary changes and then it will update the actual dom so this will improve the performance of the application okay so here are some of the react real world examples react js is used by numerous organizations and it is a foundation of many popular applications and websites including facebook instagram whatsapp netflix all right so this is a quick introduction to react js in next lecture we will create and set up react application and we will start learning react js fundamentals all right get i will see you in the next lecture